Hi, how about making special shirambo fries that require more efforts but pleasing our eyes and tongue? It's a little bit difficult to make bowls, but those who are served will feel treated specially even a small amount. Let's start now. First, cut the pumpkin into two and stem it for five minutes and cool it down. Take off the heads of the shrimps and peel them. Hold each shrimp with a backup and stop the right side of the end of the first line in 3mm dabs with a fork and lift it and remove a black intestine. And wash them and drain in a strainer. Peel the steamed pumpkin and cut it into pieces. Sprinkle a little salt and black pepper and then crush it with a fork. Don't crush it completely, leaving small chunks is better. Wipe out the shrimps with paper towel and cut half of shrimp from upper side into pieces in 5mm and leave them on the board. Cut the rest part into the same size and put it into the mixing bowl. Mince the shrimp pieces on the board and make them sticky. Put minced shrimp and 2 tablespoons of corn into the mixing bowl. Add 2 tablespoons of chopped pearl olif, 1 tablespoon of green onion, and 2 tablespoons of onion. Add 1 teaspoon of salt. 2 tablespoons of starch and half tablespoon of oyster sauce and then mix. If not adding oyster sauce, add 1 teaspoon of salt instead. I added 1 more tablespoon of starch as the mixture is a little watery and adjust its concentration with starch. Now beat two eggs after adding a little salt. Spoon of shrimp mixture, make it round, and roll it into starch. Coat shrimp bowls with egg that are covered in starch and coat them with starch again. Cover the bowls together with a container and keep them in the freezer for 30 minutes to harden enough to keep in shape. This time, cold shirin bowls with bread crumbs and the process is the same. Cold shirin with starch first, then egg, and finally bread crumbs. Coating the bowls with bread crumbs in the final stage is easier than with starch, so I recommend bread crumbs.
Now the difficult process of cooking the bowl is over and all I have to do is fry. The cooking oil was heated and I'm frying the bowls which were coated with starch and kept in the freezer. Turn them over often as the outside is cooked quickly. If they turn golden brown, take them out. This time, fry the balls coated with bread crumbs. Bread crumbs get cooked faster, so turn them over more often. After turning them over a few times, take them out when the color turns brown like this. The fried bowls are on a plate with different sauce on each. I made tartar sauce and raspberry sauce like before, and fresh creamed mustard and balsamic vinegar sauce are but ones. Let me taste the shrimp. Coated with starch with tartar sauce on it. I can see pumpkin and shrimp inside, though fried, it's not greasy at all. Tasty. This time, the one with raspberry sauce. Mmm, sweet and fragrant. This time, the shrimp bowl coated with bread crumbs with fresh creamed mustard sauce. Mmm, crispy, sweet, and sour. It is refreshing if eaten with cabbage salad. This time, the one with balsamic vinegar sauce. Oh, uh, it seems that it tastes just the sauce rather than shrimp. Let me cut the shrimp bowl into half. It's almost full of shrimp and pumpkin. This is a hot sauce, and if you feel greasy, you can try this out. The balls coated with bread crumbs were crispier and easier to make, so consider that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in a traveling video next. Thanks for your subscriptions and likes.